Most of us write them off as crazy stories you see on TV on Friday nights. But cold cases are a combination of devastating, traumatizing, painful, and just plain crazy for the people who live them. Though officials are not saying it was the work of the East Area Rapist, they do say the crime was committed in his style. Probably the most notorious case was the Golden State Killer. Authorities admit they still don't know an awful lot about the rapist, but each time he strikes, they learn more about him and the way he operates. Police said the previously unknown person had reportedly committed their last crime in 1986. But before that, their rap sheet included 12 murders, at least 50 rapes, and various home burglaries throughout California in the 70s and 80s. He was so confident he'd gotten away with the crimes, he'd call police and his victims to let them know. For decades, this person roamed free with blood on their hands. Police, investigators, journalists, and of course, family members spent years looking for someone it began to seem like had disappeared. That is until this year. Investigators got the culprit's DNA from crime scene evidence in the early 2000s. They took it to a company called GED Match. From there, it was the killer's family members who unknowingly sealed his fate. Using the DNA the suspect's family members had submitted for genealogy testing, investigators built a family tree that eventually led them to former cop, 72-year-old Joseph James D'Angelo. We all knew as part of this team that we were looking for a needle in a haystack, but we also all knew that the needle was there. Investigators used DNA from his home to confirm the 40-year-old case had been cracked. D'Angelo isn't the first person caught by this technology. DNA analysis company Parabon Nanolabs says it's helped departments around the country make arrests in six cold cases this year alone using similar technology. The Golden State Killer wasn't solved by Parabon, but his arrest makes seven. Parabon's CEO said in a statement earlier this year, of the cases it screened, 20% seem to be directly solvable with genetic genealogy methods alone, and 30% are likely solvable with the help of law enforcement. On its website, Parabon tells us how it's done. It uses a combination of genetic analysis, history, and genealogical research to study a person's family history. It compares the DNA sample of, say, a murder suspect to a database of DNA from volunteer participants, like people who use 23andMe. The company is then able to determine whether that suspect is related to someone who gave a volunteer DNA sample. That information can be compared to other data, like census records or obituaries, to confirm the results. Now, you can call this technology revolutionary. Some may call it invasive. An innocent person just trying to build their family tree can very easily, unintentionally, implicate a family member. But the families who have suffered through cold cases for decades say this technology is a miracle because they can now call their cases solved.